Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slip it down the... Holy water. That's when I feel holy. So good in the neighborhood. You know what time it is, baby. Yeah. Terrell's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. No, you're presiding. You can all keep singing. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you. Like I always say, it could be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person, my be Okay. Show me the energy of the... Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my be Beautiful. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my... Top to bottom for me, please. Thank you. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. They're going to make me shuffle now. That's cool. That's cool. I'm here all day. Okay, Pisces. Down on the table, I've got the Five of Cups. I've got the Queen of Wands. I've got the Ace of Pentacles here. I've got the Page of Pentacles. The overall energy for the reading is the Page of Swords. Okay. There could, your person could be feeling a little bit aggressive at times. I'm getting this energy of like one minute they're okay and then the next minute it's like this person's agitated. There's something here they're focused on. They're basically not realizing that there's something that could be salvaged from this situation because they're focused on all the negative stuff. It's Queen of Wands, okay? She's a very vibrant very attractive energy here. This could be your person's energy, or it could be your energy. Queen of Wands, though, she knows what she wants. She gets what she wants, and she always gets it how she wants. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, takes a little while for the Ace of Pentacles to get there. This could be this person buying a new house. Maybe they're buy maybe buying a new car, but it's something big. It's something solid, like buying a new house and a new car, right? That's like your stability, your foundation. It's like something you can create something on, right? Okay, right. Page of Pentacles, okay? Your person could be a musician here. Whatever it is, I feel like this person has been, they've been learning something here. So, mm. uh, let's talk to this person here and see what the, uh, what's this person's, what's this negative stuff they're focused on? What's all this negativity that this person's focused on, please? Top to bottom, what's this negativity this person's focused on? I should have said it. I knew the Wheel of Fortune was going to come out. This is like ups and downs here. Ups and downs. One minute I'm fine, one minute the next I'm not. What's the Five of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? What's the Five of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? What's the Five of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune, please? Yeah, they're... This person feels they're in the low. They've hit the lowest of lows right now. Your person has hit the lowest of lows, okay? This person's feeling trapped right now. And as a result of it, there's a lot of overthinking. So right now, this person is not coming towards you. So what is this person overthinking? What, what What's this person overthinking? What's this trapped energy here? What's going on here? What is all this all about? Why are they feeling trapped here with the Ten of Pentacles? Hmm. 
Oh boy. Okay. Here it is. I don't know what their stability is. Maybe this person's married. Okay. Or they're in a long-term relationship here. Okay. But this, this, their, or their legacy. It could be their family legacy too. Like maybe their parents, maybe this is family wealth, generational wealth here. But whatever it is, this is keeping them trapped here from even coming towards you. And this is all they focused on is like, oh my God, I can't come towards Pisces at all because I'm trapped with my stability. I'm trapped inside my Ferrari. And if I was to come towards Pisces, I would have to leave my Ferrari life behind me. And I've never not had a Ferrari, and I don't know how I could live without a Ferrari, but how can I live without Pisces either, okay? So this person chooses to stay trapped in this Ten of Pentacles energy here, okay? Do you, do you, you catch what I'm saying here? Do you, get, do, you, do you guys really get what I'm saying? Let me know. I mean, seriously. There's something here. They're either in a marriage where it's everything's cushy, all right, or there's something about family legacy, or they're just in a long-term relationship here with kids, the whole nine yard, the cards, and rather than come towards you, they just much rather stay in a miserable relationship where there's no emotional fulfillment here. Does this person look emotionally fulfilled to you? No, they don't. Of course not. You'd be ridiculous to say otherwise. But they choose... Just as she chooses to stay outside with her child in the winter, if she was smart enough, she would take her child and go inside. And it's a she because it's just on the card. You know, man or woman, it doesn't matter. But she's just choosing just to lay there and stay there with her pentacles. Because her pentacles, they don't keep her warm. They don't make her feel... All they do, it's just all superficial energy it's super superficial surface level energy and when you choose to stay there you end up becoming quite miserable because you think well people like this have always grown up with without money or without money or some of them have just grown up with the money so it's all about the legacy here and money you can't take a pentacle here okay imagine me taking this peso here, alright, and like trying to dry my tears with it. Oh, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's just sad. This is sad for whoever this is. Ay, ay, ay. Lots of people do it all the time, though. That's right, they do. Okay, so what's going on here? What's this person learning? What's this person learning, please? What's this person learning? Let's go top to bottom for me. What's this person learning here? What's this person learning? What's this person learning? What's this person learning? Boy. I don't know what they're learning. Let's see what they're learning. So they feel like they need to take some time for themselves to think things over. <clears throat> so what are they currently thinking over right now? What are they currently thinking over right now? It's just like this energy of this person is pondering because they're in deep reflection. It's like I, I'm learning that I really need to take some time to myself and really think about am I satisfied with my life? Is this what I truly want for myself? 
because honestly, I'm very, I'm not very satisfied with my life. I feel alone. I feel trapped. I feel isolated. And I'm tired of feeling this way. Yeah. Do I have everything I, I need? But am I happy? Look, does she look happy to you? Yeah, she's got all of her stuff there, but look at that face. She's pretty sad. She's got all of her stuff there, pentacles around, beautiful dress, but it's like, just not very happy. Not very happy. Not very happy. Not very happy with their life at all. This is sad. So this person's realizing, they're learning that they're just not happy with the life that they have. Despite everything that they have, it's just not making them happy. They're starting to realize that this person has, they, they feel like all they've ever been was superficial. It's all been surface level energy. That's sad. Man, that is so sad, guys. I'm almost getting dizzy for some reason all of a sudden. Yes, I've eaten. Oh my god. Just looking at those cards just made me dizzy. Oh my god. I'm glad I didn't put any makeup on. Alright. We're going to talk to the Queen of Wands. Why is this beautiful Queen of Wands here? Why is this beautiful Queen of Wands here? Why is this beautiful Queen of Wands here? What's going on with the Queen of Wands and the Fool? Yeah, this is your person. They're the Queen of Wands. This person is... They got a lot of passion. A lot of desire here for you, Pisces. And it looks like this person, they're coming towards you here. They want to have some kind of open, heartfelt communication here with you, Pisces. Probably because they're sad. And you're the only thing that makes them happy because this person is trapped in something here. In some kind of situation or relationship that they don't want to be in but they have to stay there because of their money mm. this is awful <sighs> wow this is so heavy guys i feel so heavy i can't even begin to tell you how heavy i feel right now oh my goodness oh not good what's the ace of pentacles here What are they, they're reviewing here something about this Ace of Pentacles. What is this time of review with this Ace of Pentacles? Time of review. They feel like they're, they feel like they're missing out on a powerful new opportunity here to be with you. Because this person, it, it's like trapped. So, you got somebody here coming towards you. Okay. Definitely want to talk to you. Somebody that's stuck with something financially here. I don't know, but they're stuck. They're coming towards you. They are very attracted to you. They want to have they want to conversate here with you. And it's like this person's been thinking about how this how their life has basically been passing them by. And how they're losing out on a serious, serious opportunity to be with you. Because you are that ace of pentacles. You are their ace in the hole. Oh boy, Pisces. That's pretty heavy like a Chevy. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close this one off with the uh, kitty boom booms. For Jesse, as always, we're going to do one card for each sign. My goodness. Pisces dealing with Pisces. Sure. Okay. Fear's keeping them trapped. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? 
Cancer, if you guys are not in a relationship, uh, they could see being in a relationship with you. Scorp. 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 They think you're very attractive. Aries. Aries, sure. Okay, Aries and you are not talking. Uh, Leo. Leo. Leo is obsessed with you. Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. They're trying to figure you out. It's like they can't. Libra. Libra. Libra's in love with you. G -g -g Gemini. Sure, Gemini. Okay, Gemini thinks not only are you cute, but you are just have this beautiful, warm, loving, uh, nurturing energy here. Okay, that was Gemini, right? I hope. Yeah, I think, okay. If not, then I missed one. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius... They feel like you were holding them down. Uh, Virgo. Virgo. Uh, they're hoping for something here from you. I don't know what. Taurus. Taurus. They're kind of upset at you right now. They're growing impatient. Happy to cap. And how do you feel about Pisces cap? Capricorn. 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 Um, they're confused, and it seems like you guys have not been talking right now. So, as always, Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned. <laughs>